What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Scott Jordan, and in today's video, I'm wearing a hat. I don't have a hoodie because it's hot. All right. So, look, man, I'm gonna show you how to quick punch in FL Studio. I'm gonna give you a template. This one right here, you just add on to it. Just follow the steps that I do if you want to add more tracks. It's real simple. You can quick punch. So, let's get it, man. Let's jump into it. So, I have an instrumental in it's Jack Boys um, out west. So, we're gonna be doing something like this. So, the quick punch. You want to turn the three to one off. You don't want that on. All right. You want to have the beat in. All right. So we got a record track. So now I'm going to show you the wrong way to do it and how you do it. And I'm going to show you how we can fix it. So let's go. Lost the music on the track. Uh, uh, swing it out, whisk. Bag it out, whisk. Uh, no metallic night. I can shank it out, whisk. All right. So I'm going to bring that down, right? And then, like, let's say if I try to keep it, this is what's going to happen. Lost on the track. Uh, uh, swing it out, whisk, bag it out, whisk, uh, go metallic night, I can shank it out, whisk, alright, alright, so look, when you do it that way, it's gonna record the audio two times, we don't want that, I'm gonna show you, this is how you do it when you quick punch it, man, so, this is what I want you to do, I want you to go in, right click on it, I want you to go to track mode, I want you to go to audio track, I already made my inserts, like, it goes directly to my inserts right here, right, so I'm gonna right click here, go here, and I'm gonna go Vox A, right? Then I'm gonna go here, here, go down, go to Vox V, boom. There we go. We got two of them right there. So now we're gonna record and we're gonna quick punch what I have in the drummer. So let's see what's my. Y'all on the track. Uh, slang it out, whisk, bang it out, whisk, go metallic knife, I can shank it out, whisk. Alright, y'all flow. Alright, so look, now we're gonna do this right here. We're just gonna bring this down. Uh, slang it out, whisk, bang it out, whisk. Go metallic knife, I can shank it out, whisk. I just put a drum on the new kill tick. Alright, alright, so look, this time, like, you wanna quick punch it. So it's like, you know, you wanna slang it out, whisk, bang it out, whisk. Go metallic knife, I can shank it out, whisk. I just put a drum on the new kill tick. Put my gun in the pussy line with Clang it out with So look, you just always want to make sure when you're recording You just want to like when you're going back And you just you want to drag and drop it So that's how you're going to punch it together without having all that extra Tell it nice, I can shank it out with I just put a drum on the new care tick I just put my gun in the pussy line with but look, man, that's how you quit punch real easy, man. And the only thing about it is, it's like you just gonna have to delete the files that's not in here. And you just probably gonna have a shitload of files. And when you wanna clean it up, man, you just come in, select the unused ones, and delete them shit. And this is just something easy, man, that I thought about, like, how you could quit punch at FL Studio. And here you go, man. This is a template for you to use, a tutorial, so you can go and do it yourself. Just try it out, man. And it'll make your life a lot easier. And and always remember, right click on the audio files, select the ones that's unused, and delete them. So you don't have hella files in here. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's your boy Sky Jordan. I'm out of here, aight?